welcome folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, a safe day. It's a TGIF folks. Let's make it a great one. I start with the idea that nothing is impossible and everything can be done in the end. Albert Freddy. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 181, NASDAQ off 64, S&P's down 19, gold contract up flat, 1,081.50 an ounce. Silver, $14.19 an ounce. Platinum, down $18 at 8.59 an ounce. Copper, flat at 2.16 a pound. Light sweet crude, down a buck at $40.74 a barrel. Bonds, we have the 10 year up 10 ticks, 126.17. 30-year up 17 at 153.12. King dollar up 368 ticks traded at 99.08. The euro is down 72 at a buck seven, and the yen is trading 122.27. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Why not what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. So if we start with the SPY, folks, this is what you have. We're down two bucks. You're trading at 202.83. We have an expansion of volume as we're coming into lower price. Now, because it's a Friday, which is a beautiful thing, we can do the weeklies on this. When you take a look at the weeklies, bottom line, I'll let you make the decision, but it's, and here we go. So, when you take a look at where we are right now versus where we've been, the, the high and the S&P, the SPY is 213.78. That high was generated May. You went sideways for about another two months. We came downtown, and we came downtown hard the week of August 20th. Uh, the SPY goes from 210. Following week, you're down to 184, 182.40. You do a nice counter trend bounce. Now, the counter trend bounce fast, furious. We go from the 186 level, five weeks in a row, right up until this past, until last week, you get to 211.66. Okay, so what were you we doing there? Well, you were coming up and you were testing the three black crows, folks. And three black crows, what three black crows specifically are, is that it's a candlestick charting pattern. It's hard to basically do the pattern number one, because what happens is this. You have to have a large uptrend first. Then you have to come down fast, furious, three days in a row, approximately around the same amount of space also it's time and space well it's uh, let's see it wouldn't be time yeah it's time it's um price it's all of the above and i add volume on bottom line that's what we did they love to get tested the amazing part about a three black row it's so hard to test them that you hardly they don't show up in the marketplace a lot probably the last seven years ten years you might have seen two or three of them that's it bottom line that's what i think we have now what do we do? So let's go in, in the aspect of how we tested this area. Last week, when we came up, we, we tested the whole area on the weekly, which is so sweet that we can do the weeklies now. We tested the weekly. We had 466 million shares. That was testing 865 million. So 466 versus 865. You can see that correlation alone, not enough buyers, right? Buyers versus sellers. Now, this is the one you want to wrap your head around, too. Now, we come off that high. As we're coming off that high, you know, this week we went from 209 to 202.51. Well, we've already done a half million shares. That half million shares, of course, is more than 466 million on the way up. And what does that set up? That, this sets up now. You're going to run down to the bottom of the consolidation that we're in. That bottom is 186.93. We'll see next week whether we're going to have another expansion in volume, you know, as we're going to lower price. That's your SPY. We go into the, uh, the Qs, the three Qs. So three Qs, a little bit different setup. Three Qs, the high that the three Qs were going into was the July high. July 20th, that high there was 114.39. What do we do? you get to 115.57. Now, does it hold? No, it doesn't hold, number one. You come off that high, and as you come off that high, guess what? 
volume expands. Now, watch how we tested this high. When we tested the high last week, we had 126 million shares traded. We got to 115.47. The high that we were going into was 154 million. So we were shot by 25 million just going into the high. Same deal, supply versus demand. Now here's the kicker, because inside the out of time in the trade, you're always looking for confirmations on both sides, folks, going up and going down. That's what a robust system will do. So what ends up happening? This week, you're coming down with 159 million shares versus that high of 126. So what does that set up? That sets up that we're going to make a run down to the 98.75 level inside the queues. Okay, now let's go to the next step. The next step is kind of neat. They're all, they're all neat, but this one here is pretty intense. So if we take a look at the, we go back to the SPY for a second, what you're going to see is that you're going to see, number one, I'm going to bring this back five years. And what we've done is that we broke the 200-day moving average, and we broke it a couple times in five years. Each time that we broke it, the market never looked back afterwards. The first time we broke it was in uh, 2000, August 2011. It got back on the top side of it in December. Never looked back, touched it slightly in June, touched it of June of 2012. You touched it again in November of 2012. Then you didn't touch you didn't get close to the 200 day from November of 2012 to October of 2014. Two years. Two years, just the market went one way. Well, it's been going one way for six years. Bottom line, it gets under it again, gets over it, doesn't touch it again. Until when? August of this year takes it out with a vengeance. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. Guess what? Get a huge bounce comes back on the right side of it. This is the first time, folks, uh, since the downdraft of 2007 that this has taken it out twice. And bottom line, my take, you're taking it out with a vengeance once again. What does that set up? That sets up much lower prices coming at us. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're going to come right back. Dow Industrial's down 167. NASDAQ off 60. S&P's off uh, 17 and a half. Gold, uh, 1081. We're going to talk about the bond market when we come back because the bonds are once again saying, guess what? Fed might be going up on short-term rates, but bonds want to go up also. That means rates are going lower once again. We're going to be coming right back.